Hello students, welcome to Shorbs' classes. This is 2018 IIT Jam Mathematics question paper. I will be solving each and every question in this new series of videos. So the first question is in 2018, which of the following is true? Okay, so first is Zn is a cyclic if and only if n is a prime now there is a cyclicity is not dependent on n being prime or non prime okay so the first option here if we mark it in red is wrong coming to the second option to the structure here so every proper subgroup of zn is cyclic yes every proper subgroup of uh, zn it's a n dimensional subspace is forming a cyclic structure you can see my uh, cyclic group videos on this channel uh, for the structure so this is the truth uh, so we don't need to go to the further answers much but i am still explaining so ever every proper subgroup of s4 is cyclic no so probably s4 is maybe kind of cyclic or kind of cyclic uh, so this is also wrong and if every proper subgroup of a group is cyclic then the group is also cyclic uh, no because uh, the subgroup structure is dependent on the cyclicity as well so here this cannot be true so option number b is correct now going to the second question let a n equal to b n plus 1 by b n okay where b 1 equal to 1 and b 2 equal to 1 and b n plus 2 equal to b n plus b n plus 1 so we have to find limit n tends to infinity a n please let me change the color here okay i will go for this so uh, we have uh, limit n tends to limit uh, n tends to infinity if we put a n so limit n tends to infinity b of n plus 1 by b n equal to i so this is this so a n plus 1 if we write so this is n plus 2 by n plus 1 the cyclicity pattern the next value will be coming so a little bit thicker go for 2 okay and a n plus 1 is this so this is nothing but b n plus bn plus 1 by bn plus 1 as bn plus 2 equal to actually bn plus bn plus 1 okay so we can write this part as 1 plus bn by bn plus 1 limit n tends to infinity a n plus 1 equal to limit n tends to infinity 1 plus bn by bn plus 1 so i equal to 1 plus 1 by i okay now why this thing is happening if we just uh, restep it once so this is 1 plus limit n tends to infinity bn by bn plus 1 so it is the reverse of this so i equal to i square equal to 1 plus i so it's i plus 1 it doesn't matter uh, so i square minus i plus 1 so if we solve for i uh, 1 plus minus root 5 by 2 by Caesar Acharya formula we can write and as a n is positive so we can write a equal to 1 plus root 5 by 2 hence answer to our question is D next one if uh, V1 V2 V3 is linearly independent set of vectors in a vector space over R then which of the following sets is also linearly independent so we are having a linearly independent structure and we are going for a vector space so linear independence to a vector space structure whether it is giving you another linear independent formation or not okay so here actually we don't, can't go do anything we have to go option wise the first one is this uh, so the vector will be 1 to 5 1 2 and 5 
then 1 1 and 4 then minus 1 3 and 0 so the determinant value will be 0 for this so the equation does not have unique solution so they are not linearly independent no unique solution so linearly independent they are not linearly independent not li second one is the same way v1 minus v2 v2 minus v3 v3 minus v1 so if we just write alpha this time i have to do it in a different way beta and gamma v3 minus v1 equal to 0 so v1 into alpha minus gamma v2 into beta minus alpha and v3 gamma minus beta equal to 0 so alpha minus gamma equal to beta minus gamma equal to gamma minus beta equal to 0 as v1 v2 v3 are li so alpha equal to beta equal to gamma thus the above equation doesn't have a unique solution so they are not linearly independent so this one is also wrong so we can't have it similarly we can proceed with the next one so v1 v2 v3 so alpha equal to the first beta equal to second gamma equal to, so v1 you can common it will be alpha plus beta minus gamma plus delta this time four variables are there gamma and v3 equal to minus alpha plus beta plus equal to 0 so these values are separately 0 so v1 v2 v3 are linearly independent so these equations hold for a structural formation alpha equal to 1 beta equal to 1 gamma equal to 1 and delta equal to minus 1 so these are also not linearly independent last one is uh, v1 so we can go for the formation again and uh, and do it in a shorter fashion here i can see v1 okay so we can write the determinant as 1 0 3 1 0 and 3 v1 v2's coefficients are 1 in the first second has 1 this one and this has a 0 so 0 2 1 so this is coming not equal to 0 this is coming 7 so the above equations have only one trivial solution that is alpha plus beta equal to gamma equal to 0 so hence they are this value is not equal to zero so they are linearly independent so only this structure giving you the linearly independent form okay so in the next uh, few videos i will be solving more questions some of the videos will also be in hindi and english as well thank you